Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to give this presentation at the National Forum and on behalf of Team Numbus. So my name is Tom Carroll and with me are Anya Nihay, Julie Crowley, Deirdre Casey, Vivian Terhorst and Kieran Mulcrone. So my presentation is necessarily brief and I'll present only samples of our work and our results. So hopefully you had a chance to review the updated Forum Insight, maybe take a tour of our website and maybe even follow us on Twitter. So details of some of these links were went to Dublin in September. So the project overview. So the goal, the, the, the thrust of this project is a systematic introduction of e-assessment for large first year courses at UCC and CIT for the benefit of both staff and students. Now you may be aware of the different le lecturing modalities in the universities such as UCC or in the institutes of technology such as CIT. The names, Institute of Technology or University, are not really important here. Rather, it's the very different educational environments that are important. For example, lecturers in CIT have 18 to 20 contact hours per week, and lecturers in UCC have about six. Students in CIT are generally taught in small classes by a single lecturer, while modules in UCC are often taught in large classes, limited only by room capacity, up to 300 or so. These differences mean that the structures and challenges around e-assessment in the two institutions differ greatly, and these factors will apply generally. So in order to implement uh, e-assessment, we chose as, as the, the uh, platform, we chose Numbus, which has been developed at the University of Newcastle by uh, Bill Foster, and is currently run by Chris Graham and Christian Perfect. So our project goals, so these are to improve student engagement with mathematics, to improve students' basic mathematical skills, to improve students' outcomes, and to make more efficient use of lecturers' time. So what we have achieved so far, we have introduced numbers assessments at UCC, as we promised to do. Now, this, is the, this mentions the Calculus for Science 1 and 2. This is a course with up to about five, with more than 500 students each semester. Other lecturers in UCC are now also using numbers for maths for engineering courses and maths for arts courses. In this case of the calculus for science, uh, the, the format is dictated by circumstances and it consists of out-of-class assessments. We run three practice assessments for learning and three, three real tests of learning. So the difficult, despite the difficulties experienced at UCC, we have now caught up with CIT in implementing e-assessment at UCC. Note also the bridge, which we have adopted as the leitmotif of our project. We have introduced numbers assessments at CIT as promised. Again, here you see a list of some of the courses that are involved. We have over 400 students per semester taking uh, numbers assessments. And in this case, these are in tutorial or in class assessments. One of the... Um, um, we, we have, oh yes, sorry, apologies. Uh, the, develop, one of, the development of a catalogue of resources was one of the key recommendations from the international panel in, when we met in, in February. So now we have this uh, catalogue of resources. It is, questions have been tagged with rebel maths and they've been arranged into exams or tests and these exams or tests are readily accessible from our website. These, have been, uh, these tests have been downloaded by already by a number of institutions from around the world, including the University of Laval in Quebec and the universities in Durham, Leicester and Brighton. We've designed the website. This website includes all resources, documentary and computational. It's a one-stop shop for those interested in following our lead and numbers and the assessment. We've had, and I think these numbers might be out of date, but well, let's say well over two and a half thousand page views since the website was up and running, and 171, it says here, 30 day active users, but I think that's uh, slightly out of date. Countries that have been accessing our website from around the world include Ireland, the UK, <coughs> Germany, the US, Iraq, Chile, the Netherlands, Australia, and Switzerland. And on our Twitter account, at Team Numbers, we have at least 95 followers and 137 tweets. We also, one of the, one of, again, a key recommendation from the international panel at our last review was to create an implementation guide. 
this, this is a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started with numbers and advice on implementing e-assessment using numbers based on our own experiences at UCC and CIT. This guide now has been posted to colleagues uh, around the island of Ireland for, to, to, to generate interest. We've conducted surveys, focus groups and interviews of staff and students. The results have been analysed and reports are available for download on our website. What have we discovered? So we have come up with a modality for integrating numbers-based assessments in our courses, taking account of the different distinct natures of the teaching and learning paradigms in our respective institutions. For example, Blackboard has worked seamlessly as a VLE and CIT, but not in UCC, where we experienced serious difficulty in transfer of marks from numbers to Blackboard. It took some time but we overcame these difficulties by using Moodle as the VLE. So you might ask the question, which VLE is best? And the answer is, of course, it depends. Uh, now, in terms of the goals, we, these, again, these are just sample, sample um, results from, from the analysis of the surveys and the focus groups, etc. And these results show clear evidence of improved engagement on the part of students. This is their attendance. And here we have whether, do you feel that numbers has helped you to retain the course material? Red is good. This is from the lecturer's point of view. The number system enhances the student's understanding of course material. And again, higher up, the better it is. Students do better in end of year exams. Again, one of our to improve student outcomes was one of our key goals. And here you see that the pass rate has increased from 61.8% to 69.3%, which certainly is undeniably an, an improvement. Now, one of the other goals was, to, was to, the, to, to make more efficient use of lecturers' time. So doing a, you know, it's difficult perhaps to quantify these things, but on the other hand, one can try. And uh, at least 164 hours per, per year of lecturer time, of correcting time has been saved at CIT alone with improved student experience in that a single midterm test has been replaced by several formative, low-value online tests with instant feedback. Lecturers' time can be, that's saved can then be used productively on, say, research, as these particular lecturers are doing. Impact and dissemination. We want to get our story out there. Right? We want to move from Cork out into the wider, wider nation. So we're sharing our story on Twitter and on our website. The implementation guide has been posted to colleagues at, to, at almost all maths departments nationally. And a research paper has been submitted to the MSOR following the uh, conference in, in Newcastle on, on uh, e-assessment, etc. Yes. We've presented at various conferences. The, I Irish Maths Learning Support Network Conference in Galway, <coughs> Adults Learning Mathematics in Maynooth, E-Assessment in Mathematical Sciences, that's the co conference in September in Newcastle, and uh, Deirdre has been accepted for the Next Generation Research Digital, Digital Research Learning Research Symposium in DCU in November. I, our impact is, is, is even international at this stage because this perhaps came as a, somewhat as a surprise to us. So people in other universities have discovered us through our website and through our Twitter account. And we have interest from these universities, including Brisbane, which I think v Julie has um, volunteered kindly to go and give a workshop in Brisbane. We have um, an active wave presence. So we have an active website, and this is the Irish Maths Learning Support Network, which has 120 followers among the, the mathematics lecturing community in Ireland, which is, which is quite substantial. And uh, Julie is a member of the committee there, and the, com the, the Irish Mathematics Learning Support Network is run by Olivia Fitzmaurice in, in the UL. We also, of course, ha ha have um, links to, to our team, team uh, the, the last second is silent, to our team website, on uh, the UCC page and the CIT page, and of course on the national forum as well. Sustainability. The number of courses in UCC and CIT running numbers is growing all the time. Use, in fact, in fact, what is really has happened is that the tide has really turned. 
in that e-assessment is now appears to be well embedded, embedded in UCC and CIT, in other words, becoming the norm rather than the exception, and best practice and modalities have been established and they're being implemented. The reach of the project through the website, through social media, through discussion with colleagues, through working papers, through conference presentations, that's constantly expanding so there's a community of practice, indeed a community of expertise is being established nationally. This shows, for example, it's just a graphic taken from our um, implementation guide, shows the growth of, of, of um, numbers, in this case at CIT, and you can see even this is out of date. There's a very tiny 140 students down there at the bottom, and that should be now 180. So even then, that's September 2016. We, this, this reminds me, sorry, this reminds me a little bit of a a picture round in a table quiz. So these are our institute, in, uh, third higher education institutes in Ireland who have shown an interest in our work, a serious interest in the sense that they either maybe want us to go into a workshop with them to show, show them what we're doing so that we can share experience or they want our, to, to have our um, copies of our implementation guide. So let's see, so we have Minuth, uh, IT tr tr at IT at loan, Yes, top, top left across. Uh, UL, um, this is some university in Dublin, I think, down here in the bottom left hand corner. And then the IT Sligo and Blanchardstown. Yes, so I think UCD and IT Sligo uh, visits from the team to both of those institutions have now, are now arranged for the, between now and Christmas. So what's left to do? We have a launch day in, in U, uh, taking place joint between UCC and CIT. It has to hit, take place somewhere, so it's happening in UCC um, next uh, Thursday, October 20th. We're going to have workshops in other colleges where we go to, to spread the word. We're going to implement our best practice, well, we are implementing best practices for 2016 and 17, the current academic year, and we're continuing with disseminating um, our results and our findings through various types of publications. Okay, so that's all I have to say for the moment. Thank you.